Hey what's up everyone, did you lose your phone or did it get stolen? In today's video I'm going to demonstrate how to track any lost device and extract valuable information such as the device's real-time location, zip code, and more, just like you're seeing right now on your screen. But before we begin, this video is strictly for educational and awareness purposes only. It does not promote stalking, spying, or any kind of unauthorized tracking. Please, only test this on devices you own or have full permission to use. Now, let's get started. First, we'll run the tool inside the terminal so we can proceed with the setup. In this step, you'll be asked to enter either your port forwarded IP address, that is, if you're operating outside your home network, or your localhost IP address, if you're testing within your local network. Since this is just a demo, I'll be using the localhost address. Next, we'll enter the port number. Once that's done, the tracking link is automatically generated, and here's the most interesting part. You can copy this link and send it to the target device you're trying to track. To make it look more convincing, you can visit a URL shortener website to mask the generated link, then send it through SMS, WhatsApp, or Facebook. But I personally recommend using SMS, as it tends to look more authentic. Since this is just a demonstration, I'll simply copy the generated URL and open it on my own mobile phone to show you what happens next. And boom! The terminal has detected a connection from the mobile device. Now the progress begins as the tool collects the necessary fingerprint data from the connected device. After a few seconds, you'll see that the device information has been successfully revealed, right there on your screen. Now, let's talk about why tools like this exist, and the logic behind how they work. Tools like this are often used by cybersecurity professionals and private investigators to track down cyber criminals, scammers, or stolen devices, all within legal and ethical boundaries. To understand how tools like this are developed, you'll need to learn networking concepts, how data APIs work, and how to securely handle request and response data between clients and servers. And before we wrap up, remember, this video is strictly for educational purposes only. Do not use this method for any illegal activity. Everything shown in this video was performed in a controlled environment, and all devices used belong to me with full permission. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video or want to learn more about ethical hacking and cybersecurity, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Stay safe, stay ethical, and see you in the next one.